All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Embed. In short, it's an online IDE, an integrated development environment. I usually don't like the Wikipedia definitions, but this one's a good one. So Embed is a platform and an operating system for internet connected devices that are based on the 32-bit ARM Cortex-M microcontrollers. The project is collaboratively developed by ARM and its technology partners. If you watched the last video titled STM32, then you will know what a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M microcontroller is and what that whole kind of phrase means. So Embed is just a platform and operating system that is used to program those kind of microcontrollers. And you should also know ST Microelectronics, which is the company that developed the STM32 microcontrollers. And that company, ST Microelectronics, is one of those partners that contributes towards the Embed platform and the Embed operating system. So Embed IDE is a free code editor and compiler, which can be used both online and offline. In a sense, it's very similar to the Arduino IDE that many of you are going to be used to. And one of the key features of the Embed platform is the fact that you only need a web browser to use it since the programs are actually compiled on the cloud and not on your system. So you can actually, for example, compile programs from your mobile phone. What does it mean when we say that programs are compiled in the cloud? So it's a simple man's way of saying that they're compiled on a remote server using the ARM C or C++ compiler. I really like the whole Embed experience and they've got a whole community around it whereby people share a lot of information. So with Embed, you can import and export easily and it even has version control using Mercurial, which is similar to Git or GitHub. And there's a bunch more features like the ability to generate documentation for your code, but uh, I won't be going into all of that here as the video is just an introduction. So as you use the platform, you'll pick it all up. I'm finding it super easy, to be honest. So the programming language that it uses is the same as the Arduino. It just uses C and C++. The setup process, there's three ways to use the Embed platform. Firstly, you've got the Embed Studio. Secondly, you've got Embed Online Compiler. Third, you've got the Embed Command Line. So Embed Studio is a desktop IDE with a bunch of tools to work with the embed and it's usually best for someone with a, a bit more experience so embed studio is similar to the arduino ide but with a lot more advanced features so if you know what you're doing you're going to go with the embed studio which is the desktop ide the one that i use which is the simple one is the embed online compiler which you can just access from a web browser zero installation needed you can use it from any device android phone iphone you could probably even use it from your xbox to be honest Super easy to use and it comes with everything that any hobbyist or student is going to need pretty much. So from my experience, the online compiler is great for learning. And thirdly, the third way is the command line tool, which requires you to like manually set up everything. And this is for proper bosses of the embed platform. So probably people that aren't watching this video. That's more for like those guys that do everything in the terminal and know their way around the terminal and all of that kind of stuff. So for me, I use the online IDE. It's perfect for me. To access the IDE, super simple, go to os.embed.com, create an account, it's completely free. Then once you've logged in, click the compiler button on the top right and you're good to go. Now, you might be wondering why do you have to have an account, especially with Arduino, you don't need to have an account to use any of their services or anything. I'm not sure why you would need an account with Embed, but I can tell you exactly why you would want one. The great thing about having an account is that you can log in from your desktop at home or office, wherever, and all your programs are stored in the cloud. You can actually access them from anywhere. So when I go from my office to my house, I can access all of my programs. And this saves me a bunch of time since I don't have to upload code to GitHub or to Dropbox or anywhere like that. Like literally everything synced to the cloud. So to use the Embed platform, all you need is an internet connection and any browser. So when it comes to setting up a new program, you need to select which development board you're using first. This is done by clicking the development board name at the top right and selecting the one that you're using. Then you create a new program by clicking new. Best to use is a template. It like loads in all the right code for you, especially with like the system libraries and stuff like that. So once you've selected a template, it gives you a file and a folder. The file is main.cpp, C++, which is where you put all your code in. And the folder embed has all the extra files needed to make your code work. And this is why I say that it's the online IDE is perfect for beginners, hobbyists, students. So how do you actually upload your code? When you write code in the platform, you just compile and build the program at the click of a button. It uses a .bin file, plug in a Nucleo board or whichever board you're using into your computer and it pops up on a window, just like a USB flash drive would. Then copy and paste that .bin file that you compiled from the IDE and copy that into the device. 
Now, if you plug in your nuclear or whichever board you're using, your development board into your computer and it doesn't pop up like a USB device, that just may mean that you may need to go and download one of the drivers for the STM32 board. So I've linked that in the description. It's st.com forward slash en forward slash development dash tools dash stsw dash link 009.html. If you can't find it or the link's broken for whatever reason, just Google en.stsw-link 009.zip. Google that and you'll find it. So let's take a quick look at some of the example projects that Embed offers. So the first, the most basic example project with all sorts of code is Hello World, right? So when it comes to using Arduinos and other development boards, instead of printing Hello World to a screen, like an LCD screen, which is quite complex, what we do is we blink an LED instead. So we've got the blinky LED example program. So all you got to do, Create a new program and select embed-os-example-embed5-blinky. Compile the program and then upload to the board and you get this lovely flashing LED on the board. Another example program is stm 32 underscore adc underscore internal channels. So this is quite a cool project in the sense that it determines the temperature of the nuclear board using the ADC on the board, which is the analog to digital converter. And so here's the results of the program, which is super useful. You can actually do a lot with this kind of code and there are plenty more other example projects available to you so i highly recommend checking them out in terms of libraries the embed platform has a bunch of libraries just like the arduino so when you're using any different certain sensors modules etc you just got to go into the libraries list and search for libraries and you'll find all the ones that you need now what i really like is this published content feature and i've had a good look through it and there's some amazing stuff in there so you can actually publish your own code to the embed website and you can access other people's code that they've published as well. And a lot of people have published a lot of content, which is amazing. So all you have to do is search by program name using their import wizard search feature. And it's super nice, super easy to do. And it will import that entire code with all of the files that you need for that program into your IDE. And that's saved for you to use anywhere. So brilliant stuff. So up until now, I've mostly been talking about the online IDE, right? So we've also got the Embed Studio, which is the desktop client. So although I use the Embed OS online client in the web browser, I do also like the desktop client Embed Studio. So you can download it here. The link's just os.embed.com forward slash studio. So the desktop client is great for those that prefer dedicated desktop apps. And also the great thing about the desktop is that it can actually be used offline, which is quite essential for me personally. When I'm working on my laptop and I want to be portable, if I want to go sit out in a the garden, then my Wi-Fi can't reach my laptop. So using the desktop ID is perfect. So the only thing you need to know when it comes to using the Embed Studio, which is the desktop one, is that it does require an internet connection initially when you first install it for you to log in. Then after that, it works offline and most of the functionalities of the IDE will work without an internet connection. So for example, you can compile, you can deploy a program to a board, you can debug a program, you can use C or C++'s IntelliSense feature, and you can also access the stereo monitor as well. So there are some more advanced things that can't be done on the web browser, like, for example, adjusting the clock settings, which the Embed Studio desktop IDE can do. So it's perfect in that sense. Quickly touched on the Embed command line. I don't really know anything about the command line. Like I said, I'm a second year electrical engineering student. <laughs> Forgive me. But uh, there are some in interesting discussions that I've seen on forums about people using them. So basically, it's super advanced stuff. If you understand embedded systems to this kind of level where you can use the embed command line, uh, I need your help on my final year project. Get in touch. Uh, okay, and finally, a nice thing to mention actually is that Embed actually developed an online simulator which you can use. And I actually may do a video on it whereby they created an embed simulator that anyone can just use without a board. So you don't need to have a board. You can access it on your phone, whatever. And you can literally just start typing code You can add certain components limited, but still a certain amount of components into the simulator and literally get started as if you've got the board right in front of you. And actually, even though I have the board in front of me, it's actually often easier for me to test to see if my code is going to work by just whacking it into the simulator. So even I have, I've got a few boards, I actually still use the simulator a fair bit and I've managed to do some really cool stuff with the simulator. So yeah, I might do some videos on this. If you want to get into embed and STM32 programming and don't want to buy a board or can't afford a board, this simulator may be for you. So 
to find it or to access it, you just go simulator.embed.com. All right, and that's it for me. Hopefully now you have a good introduction to embed. And if you haven't watched my STM32 video, I highly recommend it. But if you have, start using it, give it a go, you know, get really good at this stuff. So I've got a lot more videos on this topic coming. So if you're interested, subscribe. I think embedded systems are super important for electrical engineers and hobbyists. So I'm just myself kind of tipping my toes into all of it and I'm enjoying it a lot.